every day, every day. Oh, oh, it's Leo. What's he doing? Hey! Dude, where are you going, bro? Yo, man, uh, do you get to the beach? Yeah, okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Okay. Let's uh, do it. Which one? Just put it in the book. Okay. Yeah, thanks. My man. Oh, you so got much, it? Bro. Okay. <laughs> Where's the beach? You know? Leo, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> 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 what is this? This is, um... This is life. Capturing life. Oh, fuck yeah. Capturing life. Wow. Capturing can, life. Can I help? <laughs> Sounds good. To the beach. To the beach. Which beach? Uh, the one next to the water. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I, I will just drop. Going to the beach now I didn't even even know you Until a minute ago But now we're best friends And you know You got a warm space in my heart Kedby you said Kedby Yes Kedby 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 you and me Meant to be Kedby be 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 such a miracle here today to be picked up by an angel. Thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> Sweet. Well, where, where, where's the beach? Where's the beach? Ah, the beach. Just keep going. I'll just tell you where it is. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but but but, Susan, Sue's a question. Like how? How did music come to you? Okay. Um, Okay, we're getting serious, huh? Just the, the window's going up. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the music was always um, was always part of me. Mm. I got my first guitar when I was 16. Um, but I was always like, musical. I liked sing singing. I, before I got before I got the guitar, mm. I always I was always singing, writing songs, and doing things like that. But I never. How old were you when you got guitar? Uh 16. Okay, like, and you just. Go on YouTube and just jam and stuff. Yeah, or? I had I had a YouTube channel, a few cover yes. songs that I oh, yes. used to do. I had a few original songs. Um, we had this thing in our school that we would meet up every week and we yes. just um, collaborate and write songs together. Yes. And there was a show at the end of the year, so yes. I, I did that. I did a few original songs and I also had a band. Oh, uh, what the hell? Yeah, I, I had a band back in Israel. Yeah. I'm in Israel, by the way. Okay. Sababa. Um, yeah, exactly. Sababa. And it's so, so music has always just been like, um, <clears throat> just, just, just a thing. Like, how does it, f like, like, it's, we just, just always been there. Always been there. It's just like an authentic way of expression, I guess. Because you were telling me now, like, um, um, with the, what happened with the pasana? Like, what happened with that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I did the I, I did a vipassana about two weeks ago. Just so maybe we can also share with you what what's a vipassana. So a uh, vipassana is a ten days silent retreat. So for ten days you meditate for around ten hours ten hours a day. Ten hours a day of meditation. They have a certain technique. Okay. That they use for the meditation. Mm. Um, so you get more focused and 
on your sensations in the body and mm. that right, kind of reflects your your thoughts the, the your thoughts are your sensations so every time a certain thoughts evoke the, the it makes sensations go in your body and then you when you, when you become aware of your sensation mm. you become mm. aware of how you feel yep, yep. and your thoughts and you and you gradually learn how to control um, your 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 mind mm, mm. to such to some extent. Ten days. Um, for ten days, you do it every day. You yeah. do you do it. Um, yeah. Why and did you, you do you're it? You're not allowed to speak. Hey. Why did you decide to go and do it? Um, it was always in the back of my mind for mm. some reason. It was always interesting, and I guess I was I was always recommend. I was, I also I was also recommended from very few very good friends of mm, mine. Mm. Both of them. Um, decided to not decide but they told me about that and I decided to do that because um, they also did it and they told me a lot of good things about it yeah. so I just realized that I, I want to have this experience and definitely it was beneficial more than not um, and I would really recommend it as well Let's keep going. I would recommend it to yeah, just research about it, see what it is, and see if it's uh, if it's for you. Yeah. But it's definitely very powerful and and. So why was it powerful for you? Significant experience. Um, but what was the takeaway? Yeah. I, I guess just it makes you it makes you be with yourself. It makes you mm. encounter the authentic you. Um, how you you're not allowed to speak to anyone, so you're just like with yourself in your mm. own mind. So your thought your thoughts just what it's just what you think and there aren't any like stimulation you're not allowed to write you're not allowed to play games you're not allowed to have your phone your phone with you you're not allowed to do anything yeah. but you know to meditate and on during the rest times just yeah. walk around and whatever so it really really compels you to um, to be with yourself and to mm. get to know yourself um, alongside the meditations of course that you really um, things just come up to the surface so what's something that you get to, get to know of yourself what was the like the so I guess like? yeah. I guess with the, with the music it was um, kind of understanding that it's it's always going to be a part of my life and mm. I might as well just you know take it seriously or uh, just do something with it that just um, will be good for me and good for other people that enjoy that mm. hopefully yeah um, yeah that was kind of the rea realization and I also kind of realized that I wasn't I wasn't taking it too seriously yeah so I decided to pinpoint a date I decided just to come up with a date about like something like a week from whenever it was and just do a show just come up with a show just put it on the schedule and let everything else just flow and see how see if I if I'm able to write yep. songs in this time or see if I'm able to organize that mm. and, and everything. So I decided to do it um, the other night. It was yeah. it was the it was the night before my birthday. Yes, 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 and I yes. I decided to do it yes. this time and uh, and every, everything just worked out. Everything yep, just yep, worked yep. out. I, I wrote a few songs. Some of them were serious. Some of them were not. Yes. But that's the whole point. It, when it, yep. when it just flows, it's just it doesn't. It, it just matters um, where it comes from. Yep. Um, I think left. You wanna go? Left. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, question. When you say yep. seriously, what do you mean by that? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. I guess just like having your focus being more focused on this thing rather than other things just be less scattered with with mm. what you want to do you know yeah so many times you start a start a project with this or just decide to learn that or um, have this on your mind or whatever yeah uh, it's just a, like a mental thing that I decided to now that's uh, that's that's going to be a bigger part of, of who I am now. Mm, mm. At least for that time in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that like like a dream? Like when you can you go more deeper? Like is that is that sort of like a I don't know if that's the right question. Is that like an end goal? Like maybe that's no end goal, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like is it like yeah yeah? It's, or are you yeah? 
I guess the end goal is more is is less clear. Just turn right over here. Yeah. Let's get there. I think the end goal is just being able to reach people and inspire people mm. and make people feel good um, from the situations yeah. that they encounter in my music or whatever. Mm. Um, and I'm just trying to do it on a on a on a small scale. Yeah. When when I just improvise with people and when when I when I just you know play around and just have my guitar with me. And that's yeah. Yeah. Um, it's funny just to it's funny to for me to talk about it still because uh, I still have a lot of work to to do. And ex- ex- work ex- as you mean what? On the music and in yeah. this area, as I said, like I only recently realized that I want to take it more seriously, but. Over the years, I kind of found that, like the authentic side, just not taking it seriously. You know how sometimes when you, when when people, um, when people start doing, um, having their hobby as their job. Yes. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Sometimes they lose something about, they lose the fun aspect of it, or yep. the passion. So I guess I, because I didn't have that, I didn't I didn't try to strive towards making money out of yes, it or, yes. ma- or taking it too seriously. Yep, yep, I, yep, yep. I kind of maybe worked on the authentic side of it, of just mm. like having fun with it and just like yep. messing around. Mm. And it's it still is like that, but I'm yeah. you know, right now I'm trying to just you know not let any any pressure come on the way or something like yep. that. Just like flow with it and everything. I feel like you already give me like I can feel what you're trying to say. It's like you, it's like you putting yourself out there. You doing show, but when you do the show, it's not like seriously, but it's seriously. Yeah, like yeah. the often, I feel like that's what you're good at. When I when mm. I saw you like, when you start to just like, flowing. Yeah, yeah. And like just then, like that's really who you are. I feel like, and then, um, and it's yeah. That, mm. How 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 does it feel when you play? Like, did, did someone inspire you when you were 16? Um, definitely. Many inspirations along the way. Many different musicians and and characters. Yes, and yes, like, yes. Like, um, I guess I was also, I, I really liked uh, Israeli music specifically. Yes. I really liked the, the indie scene, the more independent Can you play bands. some Israel song? Uh, um, <laughs> let's see. I don't know. What, what, what did you What did you love about the What 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 is that? What is that you love about the Israel song stuff? Like, what What's so unique about it? I guess it was just a lot of also like, um, a lot of songs, not necessarily that are real songs, but like silly things as well. Okay, like there's you know? there's an authenticity the of like the. Yeah, like the authenticity that whatever, even if it's a song and it, it, it the the lyrics are nonsense, yep, it still like get that vibe. You you, you still enjoy listening to yep, it, right? Yep, yep, Um, and I got that also from Tenacious D that I really liked, right? Which who who who? Tenacious D. What's that? Um. Ah. Time ago, me and my brother can be here. It was hitchhike, hitchhiking, yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, there shine a shiny demon in the middle of the road, and he said, "Play the best song in the world, and this is it." Yeah. This is the best song in the world. Exactly. I know this one. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, whether in Hebrew or English, it doesn't matter. Just yeah. as long as it sounds like inspirational, I yeah. guess. Yeah. And yeah. Still on my journey of exploring yeah. what, uh, what I, how I take different elements and just combine them, and it's not easy as a, mm. as a solo artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, you need other people to progress and develop and uh, and learn and gain experience. And but all you're that. kind of really doing at the show. I like that. True, true. But the, I, I, I feel that the next stage would be collaboration. Yes, and, yes. And, and playing with other people and singing with other people and so forth. Hopefully it will happen in Burning Seed where the 
Um, uh, is that Burning where Sea? I'm going next month. It's in Australia, yeah. It's in Australia. Yeah, yeah. It's the equivalent of Burning Man. Okay, yeah. The Australian version. Um, so that's where I'm going next, and hopefully, just it will be fun. And you were saying about exploring before. Yeah. I want. I want to ask you something. Like, why? When did you start living this life, like traveling? Because mm. where where did you born? At the at first, was where did you born? Yes, yeah, so I was born in Israel. Okay. I, I was I was born I was born in Israel. My dad is from New Zealand, so my family is is f- like half of my family still lives in New Zealand, and the other half uh, live in, in Israel. Israel. So, but I was I I I was brought up in Israel. Everything. To what age, like? Um and and I. Uh, I, was, I was just in Israel all the time. Okay, then. Until until a year ago. So I arrived to New Zealand a year ago. Oh. To, to, to uh, meet my family and and to travel. How old are you? One year ago? Uh, I'm now 23, so I was 22. Oh, so it's yeah. only one year ago you came here? Yeah. So you came here by yourself? Or? I came here by myself, yeah. What, ma- what inspired you to come by yourself? Um, I guess it's just like this inner, this personal journey of just getting to know your roots yep. in a way. Yeah, yeah, Because I find that, you know, is my, my dad was the only one, is the only one from my family, from his side that traveled this far and decided to stay somewhere else. And so it was important for me to... Your dad is New Zealand, yeah? Yeah, he's from New Zealand. The, the but whole, he's in Israel, Israel at the moment. Uh, when you were, yeah, when yeah, you were, yeah. you, is your mom and dad together? Yes, yeah, so he, he was traveling when he was um, 20, around 20, and... He met my mom in Israel when he was traveling. Yeah, and they kind of decided to stay. They also lived in New Zealand for yeah. six years, but then they got, went back and okay. and they stayed in Israel. Um, my brother was born in New Zealand, and I was born in Israel. Okay, um, interesting. But they went back there, and I was brought up in Israel and, and everything. So I came here. Yep, and just you know, after the army as well. Yeah, so it's something that a lot of Israelis do yeah. after the army. They just travel. Usually, it's just. Southeast Asia or just South have a look America, around the world. Yeah, have a look around the world. Just explore. Just to um, experience something different from yeah. from being three years in a strict system. Um, three years in the army. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. How was that? Uh, it was. It was intense, but it was. It, it had very um, a lot of different sides to it. Uh, it's always. It's always challenging to explain how the experience is like mm. to to people who uh, haven't gone through this experience. Yeah, because um, it's a very it's a very shaping experience, very building experience, mm. and you get to know yourself, and you know you get to know also the culture and the peop- other different people, and how you um, communicate with, yeah. with with different people and how you cope with situations yeah 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 um and many experiences yeah on that way but you know um yeah good downsides and and, and upsides mm. all together so okay i guess i'll come back to that is so your first travel you could say is new zealand yeah uh yeah uh, it's well i started from I went to, to 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 the US and I was a counselor in a summer camp. Oh, by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Also by myself. And I was there for it was a Jewish summer camp. Yeah. Uh like a spiritual Jewish summer camp. Mm. It was really awesome. Mm. Amazing experience, amazing people. So that was the first place that you went in US? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Out of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Out of Israel. And yeah, before that I had a small um, like transition time, like time to like kind of reflect and just do nothing. And after the army, when I was released, that I, that I, I was kind of working half time, part time job, and uh, I was doing an acting course. Yeah. Oh, acting course. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. How was that? Uh, it was awesome. It was really good. Yeah. And I know, I know that at some point I'm going to do another course or something at some point. Or maybe life. even just. Or just be in a film or something. Yeah, just take it on somehow. Uh, take on the opportunity. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but it was really, really good. Met so many good people, and just working on 
just working on stuff. This is on the US, yeah? Good, no, right? this is in Israel. Yeah, it was in Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, afterwards yeah. I flew to yeah. the US. And yeah, from yeah. the US I came here. Okay. Damn. So now... It's Australia. So this is life now at the moment, just exploring. <laughs> yeah, this is living the moment. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you gradually learn that, that... that that the more you travel, you you understand that living in the moment is what what is actually real. Mm. Th- this moment is the only thing that's real right now. Even if we go back and listen to this podcast afterwards, <laughs> we'll just you know recall the 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 moment. It will still be you you will still be in the moment in yeah. the future that whatever you are. So why not just make the best out of it? Mm-hmm. Is that is that maybe before? I I want to ask you one more question. Was um. Was that a moment, as I put a lot of hardship, but is that a really like a moment in life, it's like really stuck to you, be like, wow, this is why I'm here? Hmm, maybe, maybe uh, in KP actually. So Ka- mm. Kawai Pura Pura is the name of the, of the yoga retreat that yeah. I was staying in for the, 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 the last couple of months. Mm. Um, it's been a very significant journey for me for <laughs> to understand um, a lot about myself and just on the on the spiritual path as well. Um, it's yeah, so I guess it's the the, the purpose kind of revealed itself um, in this in this journey in this process. Yeah. Yeah, just but just like exactly what I was I was saying earlier on, just. Um, just doing it from the intention of, yeah. of love and from the intention of of inspiring of the intention of you know it's but is that a story mm. make you realize that but is, is that like a not like a yeah it's story but mm. but is that like a moment in kp makes you like mm. whoo okay hmm. i don't know right now i don't think about it right now mm. Or maybe not even, yeah. Mm. I guess, yeah. I guess maybe, oh, there is a, there, there was a certain moment actually. So back back home when I, uh, when I was working with, with a good, very, very good friend of mine, uh, we were working on music together. Um, and we did that for, for a long time. So we had a few, a few songs, we had a few projects that we were working on. And we, we um, and when I came to Israel, uh, when I came to New Zealand, uh, I left a, a lot of those things behind. So, sometime a few weeks ago, he called me. We were talking on the phone or something, and he reminded me that it reminded me of that time that we work. We were, we were working together, and he and he really inspired me um, on that phone call because mm. he said that that time was really significant, um, and it was it was very special. This phone call. Because I in in this phone call I kind of understood that that the music was real at the time. The mm. music was the thing that was real. We would like all of our friends would go out and hang out and go to pubs and like whatever, mm. and we would sometimes just stay stay at home and work on our things mm. because that's what we felt. Um, uh, we had passion. Mm, genuine. To talk, the, to in do. the heart. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. That's the thing that was really real, and you reminded me of that. Uh, when we had that phone call, and that's maybe the moment that I realized that, yeah, that's you. You can't you can't fake something that is real. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe the last one can in my mind or in my heart, I can feel is that. So right now, what is the impact that you you want to have? Um, in the world, or maybe with the right. people around it's, you. Well, it's hard. It's, it's hard. a big question. I know it just came to me. It's honestly, it's hard to to answer this question now because I really feel like it's the be- beginning, very beginning of of the journey that I'm that I'm doing with music. Mm. Well, the, until now, it was like a very long preparation. Like I've. I've always been working. I was. I've, I've been writing a journal for many years. And yes. Working on myself for, for a very long time and yeah. self development and things like that. So that's a very, like that's that's some kind of preparation that 
doesn't involve music, but on the um, on the deeper level, it kind of shape you, kind of prepare you mm. to to it kind of matures you mm. and prepare you to to moments that you will hopefully you know get be be, be ready to create mm. from a ripe yeah. state. Um, so I, I guess like, obviously we always evolve, we always go through these processes, yes. right? Um, but I feel like now is just like when the paths will just um, combine, mm. and like the the inner processes that I was going through will just integrate into music and see how I combine them both into something more practical, mm. more just musical, you know? Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's um. There's always there are always so many things to do. Yes, yes, yes. But now I'm focusing on shows and yes, and performing more, gaining experience, feeling mm. the audience, feeling the people, doing, taking actions, applying the things that, uh, the lessons, and. Yeah, just do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just do. It's so hard to do sometimes. I'm with you. I'm with you. Is that a song you want to play before we finish? Um. You want to share? Yeah. That is we like. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. Can I do a red hot, red hot chili pepper song? Yeah, do anything. Do it. Just jamming. I just want to go back and say. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner Sometimes I feel like my only friend It's the city I live in, the city of Auckland I never worry, now that is a lie I drive on the road Kisses me windy mm -hmm. God, she knows who I am She sees my good deeds And she kisses me windy I don't wanna ever feel Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way I don't wanna ever feel Like I did that day Take me to the place I love Take me all the way yeah. Dum 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 Bo do do da 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 do da 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 dum bum bum Do da be da dum ba da di da dum bum ba da di da dum bum Ba da 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 I don't wanna ever feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. I don't want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way.
special I'm a creep <laughs> I'm a widow What the hell am I doing here I don't belong here I'm a creep I just don't know the lyrics so I just Oh, I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? Nice, beautiful day. Oh yeah, beautiful, day, beautiful, day, beautiful, day, beautiful, beautiful day to live. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> With the man, Leo. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. To um, this podcast, <laughs> many more on the way. Oh yeah! Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. But until then, just make sure to take it easy and enjoy the good vibes, and just don't think too much about it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs>